Hey, what's good, Jazz fans? The Utah Jazz are on a back-to-back, and they play the Philadelphia 76ers at home after the Magic game last night. What are we looking for in this one as the Jazz welcome in the Philadelphia 76ers, commanded by Joel Embiid and James Harden? Well, let's dig into it right now. Let's jabber Jazz. So the Philadelphia 76ers are ranked fourth in the NBA in defense. They are really, really stout. The last time these two teams matched up, it was the Jazz' inability to generate offense that really hampered uh, their ability to be competitive late. It was a competitive game throughout, but there in the final minutes, the Jazz' inability to generate offense really doomed them. The Jazz had a 101 offensive rating. Now, if you compare that to other offensive games around the league, that is better than only 12% or the 12th percentile. So a really, really poor offensive game from the Jazz, who have been one of the league's better offenses. So for the Jazz to be competitive and ultimately win this game, the Jazz are going to have to generate offense. Now, with the Philadelphia 76ers being so stout on that end, where are they weak? Where should the Jazz be focusing their attention so that they can generate enough offense? Well, the two areas that I identified are first transition, the uh, when you're able to get out and run off of live rebounds or generate some steals. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers are 23rd in frequency, meaning they allow a lot of those type of opportunities and only 16th or average in efficiency. So if the Jazz can get out and run a bit more than they usually do, that's going to be an area for them to generate more efficient offense than they could in the half court where Philadelphia is extremely stout. Now the second area I'd pay attention to is the rim. Interestingly, despite being such a stout defense, the Philadelphia 76ers are only average at letting uh, opponents get to the rim. Uh, so 15th in frequency, and they're 24th in rim efficiency. So they're only average at letting teams get there or preventing teams from getting there, and they're pretty bad when the players get there, the opposing players get there, at defending the shot. So that's an area where the Jazz, who really rely on shots right at the rim, Larry Markinen, when he gets ahead of steam and can get the ball off of cuts, he's really, really elite at the rim. And Colin Sexton also thrives right at the rim. Those two players are going to play a big role in whether or not we can generate offense at the rim. The Jazz are going to have to be disciplined, move the ball around, not be stagnant. Otherwise, Joel Embiid and others can camp right out in there in the paint and prevent those, those rim attempts and um, really impact our efficiency. So those are the two things that I'm looking for in this game between the Jazz and the 76ers. The first... Can the Jazz get out in transition, get some easy buckets? And two, can the Jazz create enough movement in the Philadelphia defense to where they can get to the rim? Well, hopefully you guys tune, tune into this Jazz 76ers game. And with that, we'll leave you with some sounds of jazz. <laughs>